one thing I want to say is when we stay in negative relationships that are continuously negative or dis feeling disconnected, we're not ja ja gelling or jamming with them. We've closed the door for something to come along and it's closed because we have a block. We, we have a door closed, a block within certain chakras. Okay, we're often in a relationship because of fear. Um, people stay in bad or negative relationships, disconnected relationships, disharmonious relationships out of fear of the unknown. Fear of facing the unknown, fear of change, fear of going it alone and what, what's going to happen in life, fear of thinking or believing that they're taking a step backwards or that others will judge them um, um, or they're judging themselves like it's a backward step in life spiritually or even just like generally physically and um, being safe, security, etc. All this stuff which ties in with people who prefer to often stay in an uncomfortable an, un an unpleasant comfortable place like the comfort zone an uncomfortable comfort zone even though it's like because it's repetitive and they, they can know what to expect instead of face the fear of the unknown and change uh, that's very tie ties you back I have to say face the unknown don't settle for negative relationships negativity it's not best for either of you we're sp we're souls okay this is just one lifetime we may as well be happy and get in a relationship that we're where we're happy fulfilled and satisfied and prosperous it's not only best for you it's not trying to be pure selfish it's better for them like if, if you're both if you and your partner are in an unhappy relationship either seek personal and, and individual healing for the two, like two of you um, separately or and also counseling or healing together and if you really feel that you're just too incompatible and you're on two different paths and you're two different personalities you're two different people you have two different ways of living and seeing the world two different ways of being and expressing and existing and what you want to do and be and have, feel, experience and create in life then there's no harm in separating just give it a few weeks or more and probably the two of you or months maybe or less you may be in a much happier place and you've opened the door you have to look to heal um, sometimes it's like fear of financial insecurity too okay so you have to like don't stay in relationships because of fear of the unknown or just general fear I have to tell you guys before I finish this video okay this is a magical universe we are spirits and God and and our guides and angels and elevated divine holy beings are there for us and are with us and are helping us at all times but especially more so, they will help us much more if we invite them to ask because they will not interfere with our free will. We need to ask. They're there for us, ready at our disposal, okay? Ask for help and guidance and signs and support. They are loving you. The magical universe will synchronistically align people and places in the perfect time and way for you. When you're ready and you do the work and the healing, you cannot fail and you can't go wrong and it doesn't matter how long you've been in a relationship in the past it's perfectly meant to be but just know that the future going forward is opportunistic and you free will now today going forward look to be happy look to be joyful is my message just don't settle look to heal expand i'm a thriver i'm a striver for elevation whilst being harmoniously grateful for what i have but i'm an expander this is who i am in my life i'm i'm this powerful and strong life number one way showing adventurous risk taker <laughs> very fast mover and fast paced guy too generally speaking that's just the way i am and i love and accept and embrace myself and i love and accept i love accept and embrace everybody for the way they are too all oh, their beautiful little lovely gorgeous life numbers <laughs> their archetypes their everything else their personality types